Welcome to a new video, we're back on a bank and today you join me on the Forgotten Pond. I'm on a lovely little farm lake. It's a little bit of a forgotten venue for me. I used to fish this when I was a kid. Come up here with Ollie and we used to fish it quite regularly, get dropped off by the parents. He used to take it in turns and we sort of drop in for the day and used to catch quite a few fish. It was quite a prolific little lake. Nothing big. I think the biggest fish I ever caught was um, sort of 20 20 pound plus 22 pound a common i think it was there was a few sort of upper doubles but most of the fish were sort of between eight and sort of low double but it was a lovely little water and um it's a nice neck of the woods to be honest it's not too far from home and it's in a lovely little valley surrounded by the english countryside so it's a nice little place to spend a few hours and i'll be honest i've completely forgotten about the venue really which is why i'm referring to it as the forgotten pond because it is the kind of place i used to fish a lot completely forgot about i filmed these fish a lot of day tickets a lot of syndicates over the years and I just completely forgot about it really so I've not really been here for a, a very long time so myself and Ollie had the opportunity to get out and we thought we'd come up here like a sort of going back in the day when we used to come up here all the time and have a little go and see if we can catch a few so we're gonna have a little walk around see if we can find a few fish and hopefully we'll put a few fish on the bank for the cameras let's get on it <laughs> Nah, Dream King. Right here, that everyone. All he's saying he's gonna t it's gonna take him ten minutes to get a bite on that rod. Oh, one's just taken off the top. Go on, go on, son. Could do with this wind going. Might be better off on the dam. Oh! You're ripping up to you, you're going to take your rods out in a minute. <laughs> it took me a little while. The fish aren't really having it on the top at all, to be honest. They're sort of just taking the odd mixer here and there. But after repositioning the uh, the hook bait a couple of times, I've managed to put it in front of a group of fish that were having a, a bit of a feed. And one of them has decided to take the bait. So happy days. He's putting up a nice account for himself. I'm using the um, C-Series 2 and 3 quarter 9 foot rod again which is really nice for um, this sort of fishing. There's nothing big in here, but there's some lovely fish. It looks like a lovely mirror. So, happy days. Whoa. Right, he's trying to get under the net. Oh, he's in. Happy days, number one. That's probably the first fish I've caught out of here for about six years, I reckon. And it's not because I can't catch anything, it's because I haven't been here. <laughs> lovely little mirror, it's only a little fish, but it's got this lovely little starburst, little scale pattern on it. Check that out. Cool fish, that. But yeah, nice one off the top, just on a um, DNA mixer. Just been feeding in some dog biscuit and a few of the DNA mixers. And um, they've been a bit finicky. But I've managed one, took about 20 minutes, been fishing about 20 minutes, and yeah, I managed one, so happy days, see if we can get a few more, and hopefully Ollie will get a few fish as well, so happy days. Right, lovely little mirror, off he goes. Right, so I've put the floater rod down for the time being, swim's looking a bit of a mess, but um, you might be able to see, you've probably already seen it, but I have had a fish, only a little one, but had a lovely little scale pattern. And um, that was on the, um, off the top on a floater rod. But the fish don't seem to be up for it quite at the moment. It's gone really sort of bright and they seem to have sort of switched off the mixer. So I've just dropped in two rods. I've got one just down underneath this tree 
And then I've got one out sort of a little bit further into a little bit more open water. And I've put sort of a couple of handfuls of 18 millers, as that's what I used to use here when we used to fish up this way. Normally I used to use 18 millers because it was the only way you could get them at any distance with a catapult. But um, I've just gone in with the 18 millers because there's a lot of smaller fish in there, a lot of bream and that sort of stuff. So I just thought I've got more chance of picking up a few carp on the bigger bait. So I've still got the um, floaters down there. I'm going to keep trickling a few in as when that light starts to go, I think there'll still be a good chance of one off the top. But um, Ollie's next door. Ollie's got, I believe, a rod out in front of him on the deck. And um, he's been giving it a go on the top, but they've been very finicky on the top. So I think he's been struggling a little bit like I have. But um, what do you think, mate? So far, uh, yeah, it's been all right. No, nice, uh, nice weather. Nice to get out on the bank. As uh, Sean's already said, yeah, it's been a little bit tricky for the first like you know hour or so, and not um, really taking it too much off the top. But yeah, I'm going to give it a go, and I'm going to persevere. See if I can keep um, catching them off the top. But I've also got a bait just underneath the tree behind me enclosed just to cover all angles i'm pretty confident that something happened as soon as the weather changes and it gets a little bit cooler stay tuned well i think ollie's come out with some brilliant attire for fishing i think the um the wife beater is really um <laughs> showing the uh showing the physique off today mate isn't it <laughs> good effort So the bottom baits have been out for the past hour or so. The first hour or thereabouts, I was fishing on the top, but the sun really come out. It was really bright and seemed to push them down a bit. They didn't seem to be showing as much interest. That said though, Ollie has been persevering with the mixers on the top, but they've been very, very finicky. And as yet, he has um, struggled to get an actual decent take, but he's gonna pers persist with it, I believe. Um, he has got one out on the bottom as well. I'm going to stick with the bottom baits, but I'm going to fire out a load of mixers and just see if they're um, get on it now that the light's going down a bit. It might not be so bright for them. They might be a little bit more comfortable coming up on the surface again. It is still pretty mild, although the temperature is dropping gradually. It is going to cool off a lot tonight. So we'll see how it goes, but we've got maybe about an hour left until we'll probably have to be off the lake. So it is a very short session once again. It's probably only about three hours or so. But um, hopefully in the last sort of hour, we can either get one off the, off the bottom on one of the bottom rods or you never know, one of the um, fish might take a liking to a few mixers and it'd be nice to see Ollie catch a fish off the top. But we'll see how it goes. And um, yeah, fingers crossed we end up having another one. But it's been nice having a bite. It would be nice to see Ollie have a fish. So hopefully he can get one as well. So we'll see how we end up going. But it's been nice being here. It's a lovely, lovely lake, as you can see. It's lovely overgrown, huge big trees around the lake now. It's a lovely, lovely overgrown lake. It is a lovely place. And um, yeah, that's why we used to like coming up here. Although it used to look a lot different when we used to come up here because these trees were nowhere near as tall as they are now. I mean, I think I first come up here probably 30 odd years ago and we used to come up here and fish quite a lot in our sort of early teens. And it's turned into an absolute stunning place. And um, as you can probably tell, the trees around there are lush, very sort of well matured, big trees and um, yeah it's a lovely lovely place so um, there's only one other guy on here at the moment who's actually just a bit further up, just up along there but other than that there's no one else on here and we've got the place relatively to ourselves so yeah can't complain can you but anyway hopefully we'll have a fish to finish it off so um, we'll see how we get on.
Yeah, that's hilarious. All right, Ollie's rod on the bottom has just gone tearing off. The light is starting to go now, so I've had to put the light on the GoPro. It's taken a while, the fishing on the top has been um, tricky. Really tricky. And then um, his margin rod's just gone ripping off out of the blue. We were just saying I'm surprised the bottom bait hasn't gone off, and there it, and now for go, so... Happy days. Hopefully I get this in, it'll be one each. Oh, hey. Get ready yet. Whee! There we go then, there's all these fish off the bottom. Pretty cool. Um, yeah, tree. Um, rod. Tree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the one tucked just underneath the margin. A solid bag. Um, yeah, it's been out there for about three and a half hours. Really chuffed with this. Lights obviously start to fade. Um, thought we were going to get one, and uh, here's a nice result. What do you reckon about maybe eight, nine pounds? Yeah, not too far off double. Pretty cool. Really happy with that. Yeah. Slip it back quickly and see if we can get another one before the light completely goes. Right, that's the end of the session then. As you can probably tell, we've decided to come up to the pub and have a bit of a beer. So unfortunately, we only had uh, one fish each, but it was nice to get on the bank. And like I said, it's a bit of a forgotten lake for um, ourselves. It's somewhere we used to fish when we were we were like kids basically at school and we haven't been up there for quite a long time so it was nice to get back up there it's a lovely lovely lake as i'm sure you would have probably seen from the footage um but yeah it was a shame we didn't have more it was a very very tricky session the fish on the top were very finicky but it was a nice little trip wasn't it mate pretty cool nice to get out on the bank yeah no um yeah one apiece um did manage to bag a tiny little uh, bream right at the end just yeah. as we're packing down that was uh, that was pretty cool but yeah, no, it was well worth it and uh, nice to sink a pint or two as well. Well, anyway, hopefully you liked the video. If you do, please subscribe if you're not already and uh, give it a bit of a thumbs up. And um, until next time, go out there and have a few and um, be lucky. Cheers, mate. <laughs> That's a banger. <laughs>